Hey, 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 fam! Welcome back to Conversations with Carrie. I missed you. Me and you must never part. Okay. <laughs> so glad to have you back. Coming on for a quick word. Yeah, y'all know I keep it short and sweet. But I'm excited to talk to you about when you're hearing the word of God over the lies of the enemy. Because, listen, I want you to know that there's an enemy out there and people oftentimes, oftentimes don't want to talk about the enemy. They don't want to talk about Satan. They won't talk about the serpent. They won't talk about that adversary. He's alive. And unfortunately, he's real. But you know what? We're so equipped to handle him. And I'm actually talking about Genesis. Y'all, I'm taking it all the way back. So Genesis chapter 3, verse 11. And he said, he meaning God, who told you, you were, that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? That's it. That's the verse today. And um, I want to share a kind of a story with you of where this even came from and why the Holy Spirit showed this to me. Um, so there was a time I was, um, as y'all know, your girl's still single as a Pringle. Um, but uh, I was going to dinner with some friends and they were two couples that I was going to dinner with. And well, they invited me to dinner. And at first I was a little hesitant. I'm going to keep it real. I was a little hesitant because I was just like, oh, and I was having my prayer time. I had been reading my word. And I was just like, Lord, I'm so tired of being the fifth wheel. I don't want to be the fifth wheel anymore. And, you know, I just kept uh, praying slash complaining because y'all know sometimes instead of like actually praying to the Lord, we just complain to the Lord. So that's what, one of these moments, keeping it all the way real. Um, and as I was sitting there and I was just waiting for the Lord to respond, because let's not forget that prayer is a dialogue, not a monologue. I was given that from one of the ministers at my church, and I have held on to that because often we say everything we need to say. Then we're like, OK, I'm done praying. No, we got to sometimes sit and wait for the Lord to respond to us. And so as I was sitting there, you know, kind of meditating on the word and, um, you know, done my praying time, the Lord said, who told you you were a fifth wheel? Now, before I even go into the who told you, you're probably wondering, the Lord responded to you? What did you do? Did you hear him? Like, how did you know it was the Lord? And I want to say that when you know... <laughs> When you are, when you're in your Bible, when you're reading it, when you're getting good teaching, when you're spending time with the Lord, you will know his voice. And again, I know you might feel like, well, it's not audible. No, but there's, it's also a faith walk. But there are times the Lord says in his word, my sheep know my voice, a, a voice of a stranger they will not follow. And that's true. When you're actually spending time with him and getting to know him on an intimate level, this is not steeped in tradition and religion that you might have gotten from your church growing up like I did. But no, this is about I want to have relationship with you. I want to know how you handle this situation. I want to let this word, this prophetic word speak to me. And that's what it will do. It will speak to you. So therefore you'll get to know and get close to the father so that when he does speak to you, when he does respond, you're not second guessing. But also when he responds to you, he's not going to contradict his word. When the Lord speaks to you, you can find confirmation somewhere up in here because he's not just going to be like randomly telling you stuff. And also, the enemy is not going to say anything to encourage you. So as I heard, who told you that you were a fifth wheel? I, I had to think, I was like, dang, who did tell me that? You know, like, who, where did I get that from? Because the enemy's not telling you something you want to hear. My sister once said to me, I was telling her about some things I felt like the Lord was saying. And she was like, well, the enemy ain't going to tell you that. The enemy is out to kill, steal, and destroy. He wants to kill you. Simple as that. But you don't have to fear the enemy because we have the Holy Spirit. We have the Word. We have God living on the inside of us. We have a king who wants to protect us and see us at our best. So therefore, any uh, weapon that's formed, it won't prosper. Now, it will form, but it won't prosper. And at this time, it was the enemy of self-doubt and just you know, trying to make me feel less than. And I had to think about it. Who told me that I was a fifth wheel? Where did I even get that from? Because you know, my friends that were inviting me out to dinner, they wouldn't have invited me if they were like, oh, let's bring this fifth wheel. But also, that was me and my insecurities dealing with my issues that wanted to speak up versus realizing, well, what does the word say I am? You know, the Lord calls me his masterpiece. So therefore, yeah, they invited a masterpiece out to dinner. Come on, somebody. Um, but also when I was like, well, Lord, this came up later, but the Lord, when I read the scripture, it brought back to my mind of when the Lord asked me that. Because for one, when the Lord is asking you a question, 
it's not for his benefit. <laughs> He's asking you because he wants you to think about where that even come from. Is that in my word? Is that what I've said? Because if not, it's not what I said. It's not a promise and you can't stand on it. And in this particular scripture, I'll read it again in verse 11, chapter three, Genesis chapter three, verse 11. And he said, who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? Now, keep in mind, this is right after the serpent had deceived Eve and Eve fell short because for one, you know, when the serpent starts talking to you, when that liar, that enemy, that adversary starts talking to you, you can't talk back with him like as if I'm going to talk with a logical person. Like, you know what? Yeah, you know, God didn't say we couldn't. Well, God said we will just die and drop dead. You know, we be emphasizing and embellishing stuff. Um, and it's like that. That's where you fall short. Instead of like entertaining the enemy, because he's going to lie. He's going to say. You know, you're ugly. He's going to tell you that you'll never be good enough to get that new job. He's going to tell you that you'll never be a good enough mother. You're not a good enough father. I mean, he will come up with all kinds of lies. And, you know, you go to the doctor and he's like, so, you know, you're going to die tomorrow. Like, I mean, like he'll say whatever because he does not care about you. And I want you to know that. So therefore, when the Lord was asking, and who told you that you were naked? That's when they probably were like, dang, we done, we done messed up, y'all. We were disobedient because of that, you know, listening to the lies of the enemy. You have to talk back to the enemy with the word of the Lord. You have to talk at him because he's not worth having a conversation. I don't need to acknowledge you. What I can do is when the enemy tells you, you know what, you're not worth anything. No, I, it is written, I am beautifully and wonderfully made. Just like the Lord, Jesus talked back to um, the enemy at, in the wilderness when he had been fasting for 40, 40 days and 40 nights. Like, you, you. Talk back like, oh, no, it is written that God says I am his masterpiece. It is written that I am holy because he is holy. It is written that I am more than a conqueror. You have to open up your mouth, clear your throat, and say what needs to be said. Listen, these are promises. Everything in here, these are promises that we can stand on. So I want you to do one thing for me. As you think about the lies that, you know, even the little subtle stuff that, you know, it's kind of fleeting. Write those down. Write them down. And then I want right across from it, I want you to write down a promise of God from this holy word that combats everything that that enemy has been lying to you about. When he tells you that you, you'll never get married. Oh, write down in here. Okay. There's plenty of like, okay, Lord, if he can find uh, a wife or what Isaac at, through Rebecca at the well, honey, he could definitely find you a husband. He could definitely find you a wife. Whatever you are looking for, he will be able to find it for you if that's his will for your life. If he says you'll never be um, a mom. Oh, okay, well, you know what? In 1 Samuel, when Hannah, um, Panina was telling Hannah the same thing, Hannah prayed and continued to pray and took it before the Lord. And not only did she have a son, she had Samuel, who was like the prophet of prophets um, and actually helped to raise up um, King David. So, again, all of this, if something, there's something that the enemy has been lying to you about, trying to get at you, whether it's your finances, your health, your, your work, your professional life, whatever it may be, honey, break your Bible out. If you need to break out the YouVerse app and just search fear, search discouragement, whatever it might be, the answer's in here. The answer's in here, and I guarantee you, you'll have the promises and the word of God to combat the lies of the enemy. So I told y'all I wasn't going to keep you long. I was getting a little hype for a second, so I'm, I'm coming back. But let me tell you, whenever the Lord is talking to you, you'll know in your heart because he'll align with the word. The enemy is going to whisper lies that will contradict the word. He's here to condemn you, and God is here to redeem you. He's here to kill you, and God is here to save you. So I want to remind you of that. And don't forget that you can always catch more encouragement over on CarrieLee.com and also right here on the channel. So be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, y'all.